when you're living in a tiny house, there's one thing that you're always thinking about, and that's space. Where do you get more of it? How do you use it? How do you make the best of it? And this kind of extends through everything. Your clothes, your dishes, your books, your DVDs, even your recreation gear. And so that's why today I want to start talking about how is it we enjoy ourselves? What kind of recreation are we able to do even when living in a tiny house? So today we're going to talk about something very cool that stores very nicely for a tiny house lifestyle yet offers optimum fun. And that is the inflatable stand-up paddleboard. stand-up paddleboard you typically get a couple of things you get the paddleboard itself and then you get some sort of paddle but when you have an inflatable you get a couple of extra things you get the stand-up uh, paddleboard which again is inflatable you get some sort of paddle you get some sort of mechanism that allows you to inflate the paddleboard and you get a couple of extras so we're gonna go through that process I'm gonna show you what you get and uh, we're going to blow it up so you can see just how easy it is and how good it is for the tiny house lifestyle. So let's take a look. Now this is the actual paddleboard. As you can see, when it's deflated, it rolls up into a really nice small package. This is made by Jimmy Sticks. That's S-T-Y-K-S. And we actually got this stand-up paddleboard from Costco, which is a wholesale uh, type of store, kind of like Sam's Club or something of that nature really wasn't that expensive, not even 400 bucks. In order to inflate it, all you're going to do is unroll it, lay it out flat, and then you're going to take the high pressure SUP hand pump, SUP of course being stand up paddleboard, you're going to take the pump and put that nozzle into the inlet of the stand up paddleboard, and you're just going to do exactly what you do with a bicycle tire and start blowing up the stand up paddleboard. Now every inflatable stand-up paddleboard is going to say that it needs a different amount of pressure. And because the stand-up paddleboards are made out of a material very similar to that that the Coast Guard uses, that um, uh, polyprene, neoprene, uh, double insulated walls, that material, the same kind that the Coast Guard cutter boats are made out of, uh, they get really tight. So you're going to have to watch your pressure gauge and make sure that you follow the manufacturer's directions. And all you're going to do, like I said, is just like a bike pump. You're just going to start pumping up. Now, as the air increases, you're going to find that it becomes harder to pump. But until then, you just keep on pumping. tiny house lifestyle. You don't have to give up the things you enjoy. You don't have to give up the recreation. There's lots of ways of working within your space confinement. So thank you for joining us for another vlog. Remember, while you're here, you might as well subscribe so you can be updated every time we post a new video. And if you like what you saw, be sure to give us a big thumbs up. 